Hello everybody, I'm Jan, I'm the lead writer for Original Sin and today I'm going to show you how to set up a basic new dialogue in the game, in the editor. The first thing you'll want to do is go to this little mouth icon here and click it and then you will see the dialogue editor opening up. This is what a new dialogue, dialogue looks like, there is basically nothing to see here but we're going to add new nodes um, in this square here and the first one of course is going to be a greeting okay and then it might be as simple as saying hello so in this dialogue when this one has been assigned to an NPC, when you now click on this NPC, he will say hello, but that's it. The basic functions of a dialogue are of course to at least have a hello and obviously also a goodbye. A goodbye we usually call the leave. And we will make this goodbye. Oops. Now, of course, if you want um, to actually exit the dialogue when somebody says goodbye, one of the things you have to do is click this little box here to make sure that it actually ends the dialogue. The dialogue editor of Original Sin basically works with keywords. So, um, if we want to add questions we want to ask this particular NPC, whomever he or she may be, we will add them here. So basic questions of course might be who are you? Um, where are you from? And what is your job for instance? These are added here then. Now what you see here in the display text is what the player can click. Now in the greeting uh, you don't have to care about it, it will only show you this, but these things they will always be um, displayed. So now if you would open the dialogue in game what you would see is somebody who says hello and then you would see goodbye who where job and it is these keywords that we then turn into the little phrases you have in the game. Uh, we do that here who are you? Or for instance, uh, tell me about yourself. Where do you hail from? And for instance, what do you do for a living? Which makes it a bit more lively than just saying who, where and job. Same for the leaf of course, the classic I'll take my leave. Now, here is a question, who are you? Then in this uh, here, where it is displayed here, you can write uh, down the answers. So, I am Jan, for instance. It's not as talkative as he usually is. But if you want to, him to say more, but in a new line, you will just say add text and then there's a new line. I am Jan. I am a writer. There you go. So now when the player asks who are you, the text will first say this, then it will say this, and then it will go back to the questions. Like where do you hail from? I'm from the city of Ghent. Interesting, he's from the city of Ghent. So we know he's a writer, we know he's from Ghent. Then what do you do for a living? It should be pretty obvious. I write dialogues for Larian. 
There we go. All right, Dialogues for Larian Studios. Well, clearly this has been an incredibly fascinating chat. So then when the player clicks, I'll take my leave, hop, the dialogue ends. Now, of course, if uh, this uh, particular NPC would turn out to be very important and would be involved in uh, lots of quests, there will be a lot more keywords here. And in the end, everything might get muddled up a little bit. So then it's uh, probably a good idea to kind of stack them together, the ones that belong together. What do I mean by that is that I might, for instance, say, um, get a keyword personal, add it here, and then with the keyword personal, you would, I, you would say, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Okay, now when we have this, what we can do here is when we show this, we can say that this question then pushes different keywords. And what can it push? It can push the who, and we add it, the where, we add it, and the job, the edit. So now, when you go into the dialogue, when you say hello, um, the NPC says hello, then you can ask, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. And then when you've clicked that, you will see who are you, where do you hail from, and what you do for a living. Now, in order for this last little part to work, where personal um, pushes these different things, the player also needs to be able to change the subject to go back to the main tree here. So change subject should also be added here. There we go. Now this will work. Now, when you want any of your keywords here to um, be displayed immediately when you talk to an NPC, they should have the show at start box ticked. So the greeting will obviously always have this. Then our questions here, where do you hail from? What do you do for a living? Who are you? Could have had the show at start if you wanted them so that you can immediately ask them. But now they no longer need this because they are being pushed by the personal question. But of course, in order for the personal question to show up, you need to say, show this one at start. For the leave, it's handy also just to say, look, this is the last keyword. So no matter where it is in the tree, it doesn't matter. This is the last key keyword and I'll take my leave will always be at the bottom. The greeting by default will always be at the top. The changed subject um, you won't ever see unless you actually go in here and ask, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself and then it will display automatically the where, the job, the who, and the change subject, um, which would then be, let's change the subjects. There we go. Now, when you've been writing your dialogue and you're happy with the result, uh, you think it's fine and it doesn't need revision or specific nodes, specific keywords don't need revisions anymore, what you can do is say, let's click on this plus here, then right click and unmark it as stub. By default is marked as stub, but you can unstub it. And then when you go through the dialogue, let's say this one is good as well. You can quickly see by going over it what is fine and what, in your opinion, needs more work. And if you're ready to uh, save your dialogue, you just say save as, give it a name, and there we go. 
Of course, what you've seen here is really just uh, the tip of the iceberg. There are many, many more functionalities that this dialogue editor has. Um, a lot of the actual scripting is done uh, through this tool, um, but we'll go into that uh, in a later date. And I think next time it might be interesting to show you a bit more about the dual dialogues. Thank you very much and see you next time. <laughs>